Now, in this lecture, we're going to learn how to create a Redux store using a functional component. We're going to create a simple example of a Redux application and create that example using a functional React component. Using functional React component, it's super easy to create a Redux store. You need to just use some React Redux hook. So, let's take a look at how to create it. I'm going to create a new folder inside this Redux. Right here, I'm going to create a new folder and name it functional. So I'm going to say here fn example, or you can say fn redux. Inside this fn redux, I'm going to create a new file and name it example.js. So here inside this file, I'm going to create my functional component. So I'm going to say here react functional component, and I'm going to just import that inside my main index file. Right here, I'm going to just import that example like this. Get rid of this counter, specify here fn redux and example. Now here inside this example, inside the JSX, I'm going to create two buttons. So I'm going to say here button and inside it, I'm going to say car and I'm going to call here on click event like this. Just out of that, just down here, I'm going to call h1 heading tag and inside this, I'm going to simply print a variable. So I'm going to create here a variable counter vehicle like this just for that i'm going to copy this button and paste it here again because i'm going to create two buttons here the second button i'm going to name is bike now what i want when i click on this first button i want to print it's a car and when i click on the second button i want to print it's a bike that's it that's a simple example we're going to create in this example but with using functional react component so just for that here inside this fn redux i'm going to create a new file and name it action.js as you know in the redux you need action let me close all these files and back to my action.js and here i'm going to create my action as you know we can create an action using a simple object or we can create a simple action creator now let me show you how to use object and create an action so just down here, I'm going to say constant action types is equal to and in the curly braces, I'm going to say car and in the double quote, I'm going to say car and here I'm going to say bike and in the double quote, I'm going to say bike. So as I said, when I click on the first button, I want to call an action car and when I click on the second button, I want to call an action bike. Just for that, inside this fn redux, I'm going to create my reducer. So I'm going to create a new file for that and say reducer.js. So let's create a reducer. So just down here, I'm going to create a function with the name reducer. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this reducer function. And then we need to pass two parameters here, state and action. And just for that, I'm going to initialize this state with a default value. So instead of creating a new variable for that, I'm going to specify here equal to sign and in this object, I'm going to specify vehicle and specify empty value to it. So I'm going to just specify empty value to this vehicle key. Just like that, inside this reducer, I'm going to call here switch statement. So I'm going to call here switch inside a parenthesis. I'm going to say action dot type, then specify curly braces. And here I'm going to create my first case. As you can see here, I have here an action car. So I'm going to just use here car like this. So when the car action happen, I want to execute this first case. And inside this case, I'm going to simply return an object with vehicle key and the value is going to be it is a car. That's it. I'm going to do the same for the second case as well. So I'm going to copy this, paste it down here like this. And instead of car here, I'm going to say bike. And I'm going to just change this value as well with bike. Now, as you can notice here, I just use here hard coded value. Instead of using this hard coded value, I can use here action. So inside the reducer, I can just simply import action types from my action file like this. And then instead of this hard coded value, I can just simply pass action types dot car. And here I can pass action type dot by. So I'm going to just pass these values 
to this reducer case just are that i'm going to say here export default reducer save this file and pass reducer as a parameter to the store instead of creating a new file for the store i can use this same store this one i'm going to use this file store and use this same code but instead of using this reducer i'm going to use this example reducer so instead of this reducer i'm going to pass here fn redux and pass my reducer i'm going to pass this reducer to this store save this file as you know i already have this store inside this index file right here so i don't need to import it again just out of that open your example.js and now inside this example.js file i'm going to connect this component to my store in the class component we know that using connect function we connected the component with the redux store you don't have to do it in a functional component in the functional component if you want to use the redux store you just need to add some hooks so at the top here i'm going to say import and inside the curly braces i'm going to pass some hooks from react redux so inside these curly braces i'm going to simply say use selector so i'm going to just call here hook use selector and just down here inside my example i'm going to say here use selector and as a parameter i'm going to pass here a callback function so i can access the reducer state so this hook is going to return the reducer value when you pass a callback function to it so inside this parenthesis i'm going to pass here state and pass an arrow here like this and i'm going to return state so this function is going to get the current state from the reducer and pass that to the variable and return it so let me just get that return value inside a variable i'm going to say here constant counter is equal to so i'm going to get the current reducer value inside this counter variable you can notice here i already have this counter variable inside this h1 heading tag use selector allows you to extract the data from the redux store use selector will also subscribe to the redux store and run your selector whenever the action is dispatched this hook takes the state parameter and using it you can access the state of the current store so you can notice here we pass here parameter state and return that parameter so i can access the reducer state so once i have my reducer state i'm going to just call vehicle property of it you can notice here we just initialize this vehicle property here in this initial value of the reducer i'm going to use that here and just for this use selector i'm going to use another hook called use dispatch and just out of that here i'm going to say constant dispatch is equal to use dispatch and then pass here parenthesis that's it and i'm going to use this dispatch method to dispatch an action dispatch is a hook refers to the dispatch function from the redux store in the previous lecture we understand how to use dispatch method with a class component it's just like you call the dispatch method in the class component but with a functional reference here we just call the same dispatch method reference and we call that reference inside this dispatch variable let me just call this dispatch inside this on click event when i click on this button i want to dispatch an event so inside this on click i'm going to call here a function a callback function like this and inside it i'm going to say dispatch and call parenthesis to it as you know to this dispatch we need to pass an action as a parameter so inside this parenthesis here i'm going to pass an object and say here type and i'm going to call here an action of the type car so i'm going to copy this action and pass that here so when i click on this button i'm going to execute the car type action and just for that here inside this bike inside this on click event i'm going to call the callback function and call dispatch method again and as a parameter here i'm going to pass here an object and call action type so i'm going to see here type and this will type of bike action so i'm going to pass here bike now just out of that let me show you what we have inside this counter variable so let me print it down here console.log counter save this file save all your files now when you reload your browser you will get an error message cannot create the property vehicle of undefined i'm going to get this message because i don't have any value inside this vehicle variable because inside the reducer you can notice 
I just added here two cases. What about the default case? I need to pass the default value to this vehicle when both these cases failed. So just down here, don't forget to add default and inside it, I'm going to return vehicle nothing. Back to your browser. You can notice I'm going to get the default value here inside this state. Now let me show you what happened when I click on this button. When I click on the car, I'm going to get it's a car. And when I click on this bike button, I'm going to get it's a bike. So that's simple, right? I'm going to get all that messages inside the console as well. So inside this counter, I'm going to get all the values of the current state. So the use selector is going to return the current state of the store. And we are going to use use dispatch hook to dispatch an action. So I hope you understand this simple example using the use selector and use dispatch hook. So I hope you understand how to work with use selector and use dispatch hook in the functional react component.